Hello and welcome to this session on JMeter beginner tutorial and today we are going to see how can we create an aggregate result CSV file from command line. So let me go to my JMeter and let me first explain you what I am trying to do here is I have created a very simple test plan with a thread group having a single user and a simple HTTP request that goes to this particular website and I have also added an aggregate report listener okay so now if I run this with a single thread you can see it is giving me this result and also I have added this CSV file so the results get written in this CSV file as well and because I am using a timestamp function here so I get a result file created with a new timestamp so here is my JMeter folder and this is my test and in the report folder I get this result files getting created so if I open the result file you can see for a single user I am getting this result which is ok however if I change the users and I increase the user count so let us say I make the virtual users as 5 and if now I run this request you can see on the JMeter GUI I am getting an aggregate report or a summary report which is an average of all the 5 runs however if I go to my CSV report you can see here we are not getting an aggregate or the summary of all the results or the average of all the results it is giving me a uh, one result per user so how to get an aggregate summary report in the CSV file so for that what we have to do is I will go to command line and here first thing I will do is go to the JMeters bin folder so this is my JMeter and in the JMeter folder I will go to the bin folder so I will say change directory to JMeters bin folder and now I will add the command to run the test case so here I will say JMeter minus n switch for non GUI minus t and I will give the location of the test script so in my case my test script is inside desktop JMeter test and this is my test script I will copy this location and give it here along with the name of the test script and then minus L switch to give the location of the log file and again I will add it in the report folder so I have inside the same folder I have a report folder and inside that it should create a file by the name result.jtl and I will run this so let me go and see and yes you can see it has created the result.jtl file now what we are going to do is we are going to use this result.jtl file and use this to create an aggregated CSV file so for that what we have to do is let us go to our browser and search for jmeter plugins cmd jar and just go to this jmeter plugin cmd command line tool so this is the command line tool or the command line jar that we are going to use to create our aggregated CSV file now it says that in case you have installed plugin manager the tool is installed normally with the plugins manager so if you have already plugins manager you most probably might be having this but in case you do not have this what you can do is you can go and search for jmeter standard plugin download and go to this site and here you will find jmeter plugins standard zip you can download and unzip this and you will get uh, once you download this you will get this folder and if you go inside you will have a lib folder and then an ext and here you have all these files so you have to add all these files in your jmeter lib ext folder so you will go to your jmeter so my jmeter is here 
and inside your jmeter folder you will have have a lib folder and an ext folder so here you will add all these files in my case i already have it so you can see there is jmeter plugins cmd.bat and once you have added this what you are going to do is you will go to the command line and go to the location of your ext folder so i will just copy the location of my ext folder and open a new command line and just go to this particular location of ext folder and here you will write a command the syntax is this let me just put it in the notes here jmeter plugin cmd.bat so we have this file here and then we will use generate csv generate csv and the location of the csv file so i want my csv file to get generated here so i will give this location along with the name of csv file so i will say aggregated report dot csv and then you have to give this switch input jtl so i will give this input jtl and here you have to give the location of the jtl file that was created by your earlier command so this is the location result.jtl i will again give this location and then you have to use the plugin type aggregate report switch so let me copy this again and add this and let me just run this and go to my folder and you can see we have this aggregated report.csv created let me open this and yes you can see now we have an aggregated report of all the five runs or all the five users thread and we have got all these other fields we have 90% line 95% line 99% line and so on all this can be configured so you can also go to this url that we just went to for jmeter plugin cmd command line tool and you can look at all the usage and parameters here and if you search for this settings you will see this plugin type classes so we have used this here aggregated report so this is jmeter's native aggregated report and can be saved only as csv and similarly we have a lot of other settings here so you can create uh, a lot of graphs using your jtl files and all other things so the input will be a jtl file that you created separately during your test and then you can use this command to create all sorts of results so this is how you can use this command line utility to create aggregated csv file from command line i hope this session was useful for you please hit the like button and share it with others and don't forget to subscribe to this channel I will meet you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.